know what I mean? But um, so I don't know if you've seen some of our previous podcasts, but we always like to do a, a part where we go back and speak about how you came into the sport. Um, from quickly going over your power of 10, you kind of started quite late. What, cause from what we, from what I can see, it's well, 15, 16, cause you were second year under 17. Mm. Whereas of some of the guys in your age group who, who you'd have been with at the time had probably been doing the sport for a few years. David Bollerimba. Uh, well, there you go. That's, that's, that's one <laughs> person. I know he was the, doing it for a while. The Mecca. He was the boy. The boy. How, how was it like coming in? Cause we, I'm get, I'm assuming you were the, the fast kid in school. Um, and then he was kind of like, okay, cool. Let me try. Oh yeah, Leon, you'd be pretty good at flares. Maybe you should go down to the local track and 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 try it out. Um, what was that like? Like doing that tra- whole transition from school to what, being an was, athlete. It was literally just like one day. I was in. I think I was in science or something, and we had computers. And then I, mm. it was like a free period or something. It was like we've done exams or something. And then I was like, oh, someone mentioned that like, athletics, and I typed in like. Bristol Athletics mm. and it was like Bristol Athletics come and run whatever we train Tuesdays and Thursdays and I think it was Tuesday at the time yeah and then um there's a guy called Hillary so I turned up to the track at this beat down track and I'm <laughs> like in like full Arsenal gear like shorts <laughs> do you know what I mean like just normal trainers your Arsenal and support was, yeah yeah man of course my, um, my, auntie used to live, <laughs> my auntie used to live in a high rise and you could see into Highbury you could see one oh, of the goals in hybrid. Yeah, she lived on like level 100 or something. And you could see. That's bad. Like, yeah. So, no need for then. tickets then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You see one half and then you watch the other half on TV. On TV, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally. But, um, but yeah, I literally signed myself up on like on the Tuesday and I got an email back and he was like, this is like when it was like pure just email, MSN, Bebo. Mm. He was like, he was like Bebo. Um, come, on, come on Thursday. And I was like, all right, cool. And my foster carers at the time didn't want to take me. So I had to get a two hour bus across Bristol to go and meet some random stranger in like some beat down area where it's like fully covered. Like you, if no one wanted to be seen, you wouldn't be seen. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to go missing, mm. you'd go missing. <laughs> they were like, now nah, we can't bother to take you to go get a bus. Here's two pound. Mm. I was like, all right, cool. And um, anyway, got there and I was looking around and some guy was there. I was like, oh, is that is Hillier around? I was expecting it to be a girl, isn't it? I was like, mm. Hillary there? He's like, yeah, I'm Hillary. I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were Hillary. <laughs> yeah, trust me. <laughs> this is, yeah, but this is even yeah, but this is before even all that stuff started. This is just like he's just an old person, isn't it? Who just mm. was just coaching, I guess. And then um, we did the training. I can't remember what we did. And I was like, this is rubbish, man. I was like, this is boring. I was like, can I mm. race? And he's like, he's like, you're not ready. I was like, I'm ready. This is like, this is the first time I've ever trained, ever done anything. I was like, training's boring. I want to race. I don't want to be doing this. Not yet, yeah. anyway. So then he was like, because I was quite like cocky. Like, I was like, I was like I'm not here to just like train. I'm like, dead. It's like football, isn't it? Mm. You don't train on Sunday teams. You just train. Like, just turn up. You just, you know, <laughs> you're, you're set up on the training. Train. <laughs> and then you're starting 11. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was expecting that I got it. And he was like, he's like, all right. Like he was like, all right, cool. If you if you feel you're sick, come on, come on Sunday. We're training in, uh, we're racing in Leamington Spa. He's like, it's seniors though, so you're gonna be racing grown grown ups. I was like, I was like, I got. Don't worry about me, big man. I got this. <laughs> so then, anyway, went home, got my two hour bus home, and um, got back to my foster care. I was like, ah. Oh, I've been invited to race for Bristol. My first ever race on Sunday. Um, I need some running spikes. They're like, mm. they're like, oh, what a mate. Um, we're not buying them for you. I was like, oh, bro, okay. They're like, ask social services or something because we ain't got the money for that. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so now I'm emailing everyone in social services. Like, need to get the study to be the best. You know what I mean? Just like, whatever, I'll pay you mm. back, whatever. Anything, yeah. Yeah, anything. And then in the end, we ended up getting them and they were like the old, old Nike. Like, I'm not even sure what spikes they were, but they were like, they weren't even sprint spikes. They didn't even have a plate. Do you know what I mean? They're like, the oh, were they, with the Astro, were they the, um, the, just basically the, um, like everything spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like yeah, black yeah, yeah. and gray and they just had a <laughs> massive night kick. They're in one of my photos somewhere. And um, I think I even like took them English schools in the end. But um, anyway, I raced, 
Oh no, so I got there, everyone's warming up, you know how they do like all the pull back stuff and mm. everything. And I was like, oh, like it was a bit serious. Like, I'm, I'm... <laughs> but I was still like coming from a football background. So I was like, no block starts, nothing. But like, yeah. I was like, when they were like, on your marks. And I was like, right, so I need to get to the ball. I'm going to pretend the ball isn't there where the finish line is. <laughs> and if I get to the ball first, I score and I win the World Cup or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just got to be first to that line. And then I ran, you know, like, <laughs> ran yeah, all, all over the place, like, all of that, like, like head back. <laughs> and then um, I think I ended up running 11-3 or 11-2, hand-timed. Mm. And then, but after that, I was like, <gasps> and I was like, I've still got the 200 <laughs> coming up. I was like, oh, okay. So, so 200 gone. I jogged the first, not jogged, I'm like, a good pace around the bend. For the bend. Mm. Yeah. And then um, I just kicked last hundred and then um i ended up running 23 or 23 i think and then um yeah from there really and then i got a message from my friend who literally just texted me actually he he um messaged me on bebo and he goes a couple of days later he's like you're number one in the southwest i was like i was like what does that mean like what are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, because he's been athletics, isn't it? He's like, you're number yeah. one in the Southwest and you're top, like, 15 in the country for your age. I'm like, but, but what does that mean? Like, what are you telling me? And he's like, oh, yeah, mm. you, can, you can go, um, like, county champs, Southwest champs, and you go to English schools, you'd be on Sky Sports and stuff. And I was, like, buzzing, ran downstairs. I was like, I'm, like, top 15 in the country after that one race, da-da-da. My foster care was like, all right, cool, we're watching these senders. Can you, like, can you stop talking <laughs> I was like, um, see, do good. Like it was literally their mess. <laughs> but um, but then anyway, from there, I got a message from someone else, so my old training partner, and he said, um, what did he say? He was like, do you want to train with the best, or do you want to pretend to be the best? This is after like one race, and I was like, I'm not pretending to be anyone. Do you know what I mean? Like, I put it on my status, <laughs> like, no, no, but like, I'm not calling anyone out or anything. And I was like, but like, this is back then. I was like, yeah, cool, I can do it. What? What? What are you training fast? Olympians, come on, I can do that. Anyway, when this that was my coach, well, it was my coach now, James Hillier. Mm. Um, it was Lloyd Rice who invited me over, and then I got there. Like this is, I went in my different Arsenal gear. I went in the all white, <laughs> white, white and brown with the brown. Yeah, this, and, um, this is like patriotism of of <laughs> these days. Fine. I, yeah, like I had to get the, I had to get a bus, then a train, then another bus, and then um. I got up there and they were like, all oh, right, we can do some training, da 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 da. And um, at the mm. time when I was training there, um, Malcolm Arnold said to my coach James, he said, Why are you wasting your time with this boy? Like, what, like, what are you doing with him? Why are you bringing him in? And James was like, mm. Oh, I see something in him. But he only told me this like a couple of years ago. Oh. And I was literally just like, I've never been the best trainer anyway. So he must have been looking at me like, Oh, like, like why is he wasting his time with this boy? But then mm. like a year later, we went. Um, European Youth Olympics in Turkey. Yeah. We got two silver medals there. We went to the Youth Commonwealth Games. We got one silver medal there. And then from then, really, just grew and grew. 